What's up guys? It's Scott from King Queen Cichlids and we're deep in the Amazon River. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and make sure you hit that boop subscription button. All right. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top five largest American cichlids. Come on, let's catch us some. Come on. All right, guys, we are back. Now, I know that this is going to be a controversial video because people are going to have their different opinions on what the actual largest American cichlids are. I'm just telling you based on my experience, years in the hobby, what I've seen going to various shows uh, across the country, some of the top five cichlids that I think are the largest in the world. So I'm speaking specifically on American cichlids because I absolutely love American cichlids. Uh, I, obviously we're talking about Central and South American cichlids, but I do, if there's one thing I want to take from Donald Trump, I will use this and that's making your aquariums great again by keeping American cichlids. How do you like that slogan? Anyway, I just love American cichlids. Uh, the way they breed, the way they take care of their fry, their colors, their different sizes, their personalities, their aggression levels, uh, just speaks to me. I think American cichlids are absolutely wonderful and if you haven't tried one at your home, join this channel, hit the subscribe button and definitely check out. I have over 80 videos about various American cichlid species. I'm sure that you will find something that is uh, near and dear to your heart and maybe you'll try to check it out and try it in your fish room. Alright, so without further ado, my number five largest American cichlid is, drum roll please, I think I got number five, Ampholophus citronellus, better known as the Midas cichlid. Now, as I said, I've gone to a lot of various shows around the country, and I've seen some really large uh, Midas cichlids, Midas red devil cichlids. They're very closely related. Basically, anything in the Amphilophus category is going to be in that 14 to 18 range. We're talking about the males, which puts them at number five. So, just a great, great fish. Big body, gets a nuchal hump. Uh, it's going to be active, going to be aggressive, going to know you, recognize you when you come to the house, and I would highly recommend it. So I hope you'll check it out. That is number five, the Amphilophus citronellus. All right, what's at number four? And here's number four. Four pick is one of my personal favorite cichlids of all time, and that is the Paracromus managuens, the jaguar cichlid. Now, the jaguar cichlid comes from the Honduras uh, area in Central America. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful cichlids with that jaguar pattern that has like a gold, uh, black, brown pattern to it. Spectacular fish. These guys get up to the 22 range, 22 to even 24 range. Uh, one of the famous YouTubers out there, Guapota Mel, had a 24 inch male. Mo Devlin, who I'm good friends with, had a 22-inch male. These guys are just absolutely spectacular. Can eat a ton. Great pets to keep. Very hardy um, and just spectacular. So that is my number four pick, the Jaguar Cichlid Paracromus Manawins. I have two cichlids in my top five largest cichlid list that comes from the Paracromus family. So that is number four the Paracromus Managuens. Definitely check them out if you don't have one. Oh, no, no doubt this is number three. Ah. Ready for number three? Number three is the Rio Mag Umbi Cichlid. That's right. Coming out of Colombia in the Panama area, the Rio Mag Umbi or Umbi Cichlids can range anywhere up to an exceeding 24 inches. The blue freckle cichlid, as they are called, are some of the most largest and ferocious and aggressive cichlids out there. They can also be very peaceful. It just depends on what umbi you actually get. I have several friends who have kept them. I've kept them for a couple of years and been successful breeding them. They are absolutely a spectacular beautiful looking fish uh, you know people talk about African cichlids being the most colorful cichlids let me show you let me show you a real mag umbi in full breeding color 
and you are going to think it is the most beautiful cichlid ever. So Rio Mag Umbi Cichlid reaching anywhere from 24 up to 28 inches is my number three pick. I'm pretty sure this is number two. Alright guys, we're getting close to the top. Now coming in at number two, again, it's one of my personal favorites because I love the Paracromas family. Coming out of Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica area is the Paracromas Dofi. Now you guys have seen my uh, two pairs that I have in my fish room with my largest male coming in. I think he's about 16 inches long called Loki. Now the Paracromas Dofi much like the uh, Umbi Cichlid, reaches lengths of 24 up to 30 inches long. I mean, can you believe that? 30 inches long. It's amazing. I have a couple in my fish room. I do, will have to plan on getting bigger tanks for these guys because as they get bigger, they are going to need bigger tanks and I'm going to have to start planning right now on getting bigger tanks for them. Again, as like most of the cichlids that we've talked about today, they get big, they have their own personality, they are pretty aggressive, uh, they're not going to have any tank mates, uh, tank mates in their tank unless you put them all together at a small size and let them uh, grow up together. But most Dovi cichlids are not going to tolerate any tank mates unless it's his female that it's, he's breeding with. And even then, uh, when he's not in a spawning mood, she's probably not going to be want to stay in that tank with the male. So, absolutely amazing, amazing fish. Check them out back here. Uh, these fish get large, get teeth, uh, and they can be very, very aggressive. And number one is right here. Guessed it, the peacock bass coming out of South America. Now these fish can get up to three and a half even four feet long. They are not, I would not suggest them uh, for the regular hobbyists to keep in their aquariums, although I do have one uh, that I'm currently keeping in a 150 in the garage, but these are absolute beasts who like and enjoy a large body of water. They are built to swim, swim fast, uh, chase their prey, and uh, quite honestly, unless they can get, be in like a 300 to 500 gallon tank, I would not suggest picking these guys up unless you just have plans on getting a larger tank at some point down the road. Absolutely a beautiful cichlid, as I've said with all cichlids. I don't think peacock bass are as personable as some of the other uh, fish that we talked to. They are more of a swim around and eat all day kind of fish. I just don't think they have the same personality as other, like the Paracromus or Amphilophus family. Still, beautiful cichlid, powerful, sleek, uh, built like a machine to do exactly what it wants to do, which is eat prey. Uh, these fish now are game fish. People pick these fish up and they're fishing for them all around, you know, North America, South America. They are used as food. Uh, in the South America region, probably in America as well, but these are absolutely large, large beasts, uh, beautiful, but again, I wouldn't really recommend them uh, in the home aquaria. Although I have one currently, I am going to move them on to a better home soon, but again, I know they're beautiful. I know you're going to be tempted to pick one of these guys up, but if you do, just be ready to plan on getting a larger tank. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that thumbs up. Thanks for watching King Queen Cichlids. See you back in America real soon.